social media research is often a little fearful for people. They're not sure what it is. They don't know how good it is. They don't know how, how they can use it. And there's a little bit of fear that it's going to take over everything. Forget surveys, forget focus groups, forget interviews. Social media research is just going to kill all of these other methods. When really, it's, it's not like that at all. If you think about why you use a survey, why you use a focus group, there are very specific reasons for why you choose that method. And the same thing applies with social media research. There are, there are very specific reasons about why you will choose that method. So for us, it really is an expanding toolbox. We already have these really great tools at our disposal, and now we have one more tool at our disposal. It gives us access to a whole new set of advantages, a whole new set of problems of research objectives we can solve just because we have this brand new method. Social media research is simply doing the same old marker research that you've always done all along, but with a different data set, a social media data set. Data that we gather from uh, Twitter, Facebook, Flickr, YouTube, um, this is the kind of stuff you're used to. So who's actually using Twitter? Who has a Twitter account has actually gone there in the last few weeks? Got a few folks. LinkedIn, anybody use LinkedIn? Lots of folks. Facebook, pretty much everybody. So all of you folks contribute to the social media data space. Whether you like it or not, you're adding more data, making my job a lot easier. <laughs> Um, giving me data to work with. So throughout the day, um, we're going to look at how the social media research method uh, compares to the traditional survey method. So no matter what research method you're using, no matter what, it always starts out with the first most common um, point, a research objective. And that objective leads us to all of the other components of the work. Um, based on your objective, you write the survey questions. You decide what the topics are that you need to learn about. Um, you decide what scales you want to use. Do you want to use binary yes-no scales? Do you want to use a 5-point, 7-point, or God forbid, 10, 15, 20-point grid? Please do it. Uh, respondents love that. <laughs> Uh, based on your research objective, you decide what sample you want to focus on. Are you interested? in a census rep sample? Are you interested in women who have teenage children? You decide who you want to listen to. Um, you do various stages of data cleaning, and it starts with making sure you've got the right questions written the right way. Um, afterwards, once the survey is complete, that turns into looking for straight lining, speeding, uh, those kinds of things. Uh, and then you, you follow through the rest of the components of your research, finally ending up with a beautiful 400-page report that perhaps one or two people might glance at, or a 20-page report that people actually read. <laughs> the process is basically the same with social media research. Uh, some of the steps might be in a slightly different order, but it's all the exact same thing that you're used to. Absolutely, no matter what, you start with a research objective. Without that, you get nowhere, you get no actionable results in the end. You need to start with your objective. But then after that, you decide, um, what are your survey questions? What are you going to look to? Now, you, may not, you won't have a survey in this case, but you're still looking for specific topics or questions. Um, you're still deciding wh which part of the data you're most interested in, from who you're interested in. Um, you're still looking at scales. It may not be a five-point Likert scale as on a survey, but you're still deciding, do you want a binary scale? Do you want a five-point scale? You still make those kinds of decisions. And then, of course, sampling, weighting, analysis, results. All of those components are still part of social media research. And these are all the items that we're going to go through this morning and talk about in a little bit more detail.